And next we have an exceptionally talented and charismatic artist, right? We've got Wesley Morris, also known as Wes. Good morning, well, good afternoon. You okay? Hi, hi, look hi. at Smile Wes, I love it. Wes is, I would call a friend now. He's been absolutely phenomenal during the whole journey of this summit and really positive and bold and courageous with, his, with everything he's doing. He's so passionate about the subject that his, his topic's called The Art of Art. And he's also in the process of writing a book about this. So we definitely look out for this upcoming book. Um, hopefully at the end of the year, I'm gonna keep you accountable for that, Wes. Yeah. Well, Wes, it, was, it was yourself who, who's inspired that. This whole book concept has come from um, this whole summit. So The Art of Art, um it was a concept that I thought of during my own career in art. Now, coming from absolutely nothing, and like Naveen was saying before about hobbyists, mm -hmm. that is literally how I became where I am now through the hobbyists. Um so I'll give a little bit of a introduction to myself. Let me just try and share my screen. Okay, so can you see that? Um, Hold on. Uh, if it'll let me do it. Uh, Wes, I can do it from my side if it's the same slide. Oh yeah, if you could do it, sorry, yeah, yeah. So if we start off slide one. That's just the end. So basically, um, I've been a professional artist now for about four years and it was me sister who encouraged me to show me work because like most artists I feel either don't feel like they're good enough to put the work out there or like Naveen was saying they may shy away a little bit from a bit of self-belief in what they can do um, and touching on certain creative ideas and things like that uh, a lot of people can struggle to get their expressions out there. So um, when I started putting my work out, it took, I'd say a couple of years, um, but consistently working at it. Um, and from there really, it just off overnight. Now, my work, as you can see behind me, it's a little bit, it's a little bit out there, bit of a surrealist type of vibe to it. Um, it's not everyone's taste. Well, that's the whole point of art. It's so broad and spectrum on the spectrum that there is no right or wrong way. Um, art is art, and um, that's basically why we were uh, uh, to, to, to understand and write this book. So the first slide is basically just representing how art has been in our culture since man was first about um, through cave drawings. It was used to just document simple way of living to document hunts um, our survival basic. Um, the next slide after that is how artists was used through history, how at one point we were we were dominating the scene basically because there was no cameras, there was no way of documenting anything really. So the artist was always used and called in to document time. Um, as you can see, monarchs, things like that. Um, which has evolved into, you go to the next slide, um, through the ancient Egyptians, the sculptures of the pharaohs, to the emperors of Rome, used as a symbolic way, how art has, um, over, over years and over time, has evolved to sort of where, where we're at now. Um, let's go to the next one. Um, starting my career off and, and my journey off, um, I'm a very big uh, gardener, should I say. I, I get a lot of my inspiration from outside. Now, as you can see from just this simple web, art in nature and art is so in, installed in our actual foundations that it just got me thinking about how to put certain colours, certain um, shapes, things like that together. Um, it's hard to sort of explain from this, but it's if you go to the next slide, it's the art in nature that 
gives me my inspiration of how I use my colours and how I've put myself out there to um, sorry yeah so how nature um, inspired me to put in my work as you can see from this point here um, on this one. Yeah, so how nature is in our DNA. Sorry. And how it's in our actual foundations of human beings to want to create. And um, it's sort of like a, a passion of mine that when I was putting these ideas together and things like that. Um, it was a very strange thought process that I went through um, to create what I was creating. Now, this, uh, this is it. Um, so basically what I was getting at is, what is it we think of when we think of us? Um, to me, I think of colours, structure, emotion, uh, which is a lot of drive for my work, really, um, and how I managed to get noticed. So over time, I was contacted by charities and stuff like that, who really wanted to take an interest into what I did. So... Over the, the few months and things like that, we put together art exhibitions and um, really, really broadened my work out there, should I say, that got me on the scene. Now, <clears throat> when we look at different artists, for, for example, on the screen now, um, Picasso, his, his expression of art through cubism and his way of, um, you know, his, uh, his sort of, way of getting his feelings out and emotions. If you go to the next slide, um, Van Gogh, his way, it's not very, it's, it's not very, um, how do you say it, structured to the point where it's, a, it's like an abstract piece of art. Now, for me, art, um, sort of, on this. art to me um, is, like Rajam was saying, it's, it's creation. Anything that is creation to me is art. Now, um, through, through colours, I've actually got a load of colours. I wanted to show you what I've got. That. Through colours, I use that to um, explain how I'm feeling through um what type of color i'll be using what style i'll be using um like the blues are quite a, a, a dark mood um that when i first started painting and that a lot of it was quite like that it's quite a moody vibe to it and it wasn't over time that i would start to bring in my own color work to it and people would more or less comment on what colours were being used. So it sort of evolved my work a little bit. If we just go down to the next slide of my own one. Um, see, we're talking on light here. Now, This was based on Go's theory of, of light refraction, of um, how the opposites on the color wheel are the ones that are significant to the eye. Meaning that, if we bring that one back to the one before, sorry. So the color wheel here, it's just a, a, a little explanation of how color works through Isaac's, uh, Isaac Newton's theory of light. Now, he used to play about with prisms and stuff like that, just to sort of get the spectrums. Now, these spectrums of light, they are colours. Um, the opposites that are working together is sort of how I 
go off my work. Um, and this is how I use uh, basically as a bit of a template for myself to get the effects and things like that I need. So if I paint like an abstract type of piece, um, let me just go through. Sorry. The one after that, please. And again, sorry. So this is my this is what I do. And this is my type of work. Now, colour is a very big involvement in my work. That's sort of how I do how I uh, get my style across. Where originally it was quite a very basic, dark, bluey. I mean, these ones at the back, these are very early stages of my work. Um, and over time, I've progressed and learned a style and learned a way of uh, my niche as such. And it's since I found that niche in art and that creative way of being that my barriers were sort of broken as such because I was always just the hobbyist. I was never a professional artist or knew how to be. It was always just fun that I painted for that. And it wasn't until it takes sort of someone else to see something in my work that I thought, okay, well, it gave me the confidence a little bit to, to, to want to get out there and, and, you know, maybe take this as a full-time career as such. Um, so, like I said, um, well, when I started perfecting my own sort of craft and art um, is when it really took off. Before that, it wasn't really, um, it wasn't really much that I would consider art as such. Um, as you can see, I'm not really the best of uh, speakers either. It's just something that art is just a passion of mine. And it sort of snowballed from there, really. Now, another one. To show you another one of mine again. Um, this one was the sort of. It has a a lot of fear and emotion in this picture again, through art. Um, it's not something really that I, I never thought that I'd be doing. Even sitting here today. Avni getting in touch with me, it just, again, it just excels um, and it confirms sort of my um, thoughts on how art itself, I mean, like I say, this is only a very small, small thing today, um, but the, my thoughts are vast regarding this. So I'd just like to... Um, just show, just show a little bit of what what I do anyway. Um, and sorry, just thought I'd show a little bit what I do and how. Basically, just being a, a a normal person, a normal nine to five job, um, containing to a, a hobby, containing to a, an actual career or you know, bigger than that, really. Now, like I say, this isn't something that I ever dreamed I'd be doing. I mean, it's just insane for me to be here right now, to be honest. But from that, um, and from the art communities and things like that, I've really excelled my um, beliefs and thoughts around art. Now, the whole, all these brilliant artists that we've had on so far, um, to them, it's just probably like water off, you know. But um, for myself, I find it's like uh, a small fish in a big pond, if that makes sense. And this just sort of gave me a little bit of a boost on um, my own journey, really. 
just for the fact of acknowledgement and being asked to, to be here and give my thoughts and my opinions on what, um, you know, this whole art thing is. Like I say, four years ago, if someone had said to me now, you know, you'd have sold 200, 300 paintings, held your own exhibitions, be a speaker on this, writing a book, working on it. You know, the list is just ridiculous for me, but it's all, um, it's all self-belief. And I feel that without belief in, and without that drive and passion, I feel like um, you sort of can just flatline. Like Naveen was saying, what, what she said it really, really hit home to me because her way of thinking is how I sort of get in there and create, just throw the paint on there and just see what happens. The colours that I use, um, you know, the very vivid, bright, um, but that's how I, that's my um, sort of inner feelings and how I portray them and put them across onto the, onto the canvas. Um, but yeah, like I say, this has been a, a, an insane journey for me, especially. Um, yeah, it's just something that I never thought possible. And I'm, I'm sure a lot of other artists feel the same way I do. Um, just, uh, yeah, it's just a very um, exciting journey. That's, put it like that. Um, I'll be back. I don't know if you can see probably a little bit of about what I do here. But like I say, it, this is all about breaking barriers in art. And this for me is one that totally has. Um, from, like I say, from just starting a regular nine to five job to be here today, it's just insane. And all this was just through the art community and art itself. Um, the people that I've met along this way, along this journey, along the way, um, and the the stepping stones that us artists can create for each other, I feel that you can go anywhere and we can do anything. We see the the ugly in the beauty. We see the light in the dark. You know, with a voice when everyone's quiet. You know, we are so versatile in what we are. We I feel like the artist is wired. A little different to the regular person. We have a, a way of expression, whether we are very reserved and we create in that way, or we're very verbal and open. Um, for me, it's it's a bit of a mixed um, it's a mixed feeling for myself. Sometimes you go through like ups and downs, like a roller coaster, really. Um, so yeah, it's. Art for me and the whole art of our concepts was just really um, just a real push and a drive for me to carry on and to be where I want to be with my art. Um, I've always had to be pushed. I've always had to be sort of, you know, come on, you are this, you are good enough, you are that. I've always got a lot of self-doubt as such. Um, but it always turns around and escalates into crazy heights. But again, all through artists and the the people who um, we associate with in them circles, really, um, this platform itself is absolutely fantastic. The artists that are on board as well, um, just some insane talents on there. And again, like I said, it's just a platform like this that Avni has created for artists to get the voice across, to get the, you know, their work shown. Um, it's just absolutely fantastic. And again, I'd just like to say thank you to Avni for, for having us all on and for creating this amazing platform. Without things like this, a lot of people would never even get noticed. They would never want to take the time out to show what, you know, what they, their self feelings or expressions are, you know, like um, 
Naveen was saying through COVID, a lot of people took a knock through that, where art helped me um, keep my mind on something where everyone else was just losing the plot. I was able to have that outlet to sort of um, put my mind in a better place as such, where I was able to come out of that a lot better off and I had a very vast amount of work which excelled straight after that. So in that little low spot, the, the creative ideas were buzzing all the time. Um, and it just, it just rocketed from that really. Um, so yeah, that was uh, my experience in coming into the art world anyway. But, sorry, come on. No, I'm just saying, I'm just totally moved. But sorry, carry on, yeah. Yeah, so this was just my um, crazy introduction into this art world. Like I say, um, for someone who never thought that my work would ever be recognised or, you know, anyone would ever want to purchase it or whatever, um, it's just unreal. But I feel if you create out of love for creation, then that definitely shows in the work. If you create to try and make money or you're creating to try and go along with the latest fad, um, it never really tends to to work out as well as um, you probably think it would. If you create from the heart, I just feel like it's a lot, it's a lot purer and the work shows through that. Um, but again, that's just my experiences through this crazy art world. Um, what I've found as well. But it's only a very short time, I could say four years from doing nothing at all and painting pictures in a bedroom to having your work all over the world is just something, it's, it's still today, bounds me, to be honest. But again, it's the, the art world and the art community that's helped me to, to get where I am now. And that's why things like this and these platforms are such a fundamental thing for artists to have because without them, um, we would all just be invisible nobodies in a, in a huge world of artists, really. Thank you, Wes. That's, um, I really got the authenticity from your voice and everything you shared was really, really powerful. Yeah. You know, I can see where you were and even where you are, but the beauty is I can see so much more yet to come. There's so much depth in you. There's so much still there. I'm that deep, it's hard to get it all out. I have that much in my mind, sort yeah. of how, how I want to say it and how I want to get it across where people can understand it. Mm. Because sometimes I can say things where people are like, I don't really get what you mean. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm more of a, a shower <laughs> than a teller. <laughs> yeah. mm. no, um, well, we, I mean, looking at the chat, do go through the chat afterwards. There's so many wonderful comments. Yeah, I will, yeah. yeah. And, your, and your work, people are really inspired. By Again, actually, um, I will, well, just to say thank you as well for everyone for um, taking part and coming along. Um, I wanted to give a free giveaway um, for some of my work. So I've just got a few pieces here. I'll just show you what are up for grabs. Um, so this is one. Yeah, we have that one. This is a print of, I think we've seen that one before. Uh, second up, John Lennon. Mm -hmm. Anyone's a fan of the Beatles there? Um, again, I had another Beatles piece. So, as you can see, again, I was saying colour is quite a big part of my work. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just sort of my way of venting my uh, creative thoughts. Sorry, and one more. Again. Amazing. Thank you. And all these are up for grabs as well. So okay. I'm sure we can there. Uh, if anyone would like to leave a comment or anything like that and sort um, of uh, 
Um, before we move on to, the, uh, there's a couple of questions. Um, so how can people, anybody win those, those prints? Well, what I'll do, I'll go down the comment list in a minute. Um, and again, um, best comment wins. <laughs> All right. Okay, so for the best comments, so it's not too late, get your comments in because Wes is going to go through all of your comments and pick the four that really stand out for him to send these um, prints. Yeah, if you could put your, um, your Instagram or a way of contacting you as well, that would be yeah. that, brilliant. Yes, so do that. Um, these prints are fantastic and Wes will personally send you these straight yeah. after the summit. So. Yeah. Wes, thank you so much. That's very, very generous of you. There's one no problem from Put Putvi. Um, what was the pivoting point from hobbyist to pro? What was your pivoting point? Pivoting point. Um, well, good question. Well, I would always say, like, I, I keep going back to Naveen because Naveen really, her talk really struck a chord with me. It really set in because I thought you know what she nailed it right on the head now I live as a hobbyist all the time so I never really take I try not to because when I do I really sort of struggle to get it out so if I live in that right side of the brain that creative just let it flow just let it happen um it tends to work better for me then. So all I can really say is just be free with your art. Just go with the flow and what, whatever will be, will be from there. Out of my own experience, um, I, I, in my head, I turned professional after I sold one painting, but that was just my naivety. Um, like I, I guess you'd say, you what? I, I, I turned professional or after people sort of wanted to show it in galleries or, you know, that's, I, I hope that helps. That makes sense. That does make sense. Thank you. Um, we've got all the comments and chats flooding in now. I think everybody's going for those um, prints. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> okay, so we're going to move on to the next speaker now. So Wes, we'll go through all your comments. Yeah, I'll check them out now. Thank yeah. you. So feel free to keep sending them through and he will pick the four that really stand out for him. And he will, like I said, send you the prints and um, he'll get in touch with you to send the prints. Um, everyone's loving your work, Wes, by the way. They're loving oh, thank the, you. someone's related it to Salvador Dali. Um, and it's so thought provoking. Fantastic. So thank you. Thank you very oh, much. Thank you. And I just want to add one more thing. What you said about um, you know this eighty twenty summit being a little small trigger in your journey, really that touched me, and I'm so grateful that I've had that privilege to do that. No, honestly, thank you. And like I say, this whole this whole concept you've opened up new doors for me to want to extend my career um, and to take it to the next level. So without this and without you, that wouldn't have even happened. So again. Thank you, Avni. Um, amazing person and an amazing artist, honestly. Well, Wes, we're going to be doing lots of amazing things together in the future. So I hope so. I look forward to it. Definitely. Thank you, Wes.